This work presents the toric space, a novel and compact representation that helps to address a number of challenges in virtual camera control. Virtual camera control is the task of positioning and moving cameras in virtual 3D environments. Many applications in computer graphics such as 3D modelers, navigation tools, or games rely on camera control techniques. But for whoever has played with camera manipulation tools in 3D modelers, the task of positioning a camera is a tedious process involving a sequence of position, rotation, and focal length adjustments. In this work, we first propose a novel and compact representation for camera control, the toric space. This representation can actually be viewed as a generalization of the arcball camera principle to two targets. Where a normal arcball camera is defined in polar coordinates locally to one target and always pointing to the center of the target, the toric space defines three parameters such that every triplet of values, alpha, theta, and phi, represents a single camera position with a camera orientation that automatically ensures a specified on-screen composition of its two targets. See how the projected locations of the characters' heads never change on the screen. This representation has many benefits in camera control applications. It enables the efficient computation of static viewpoints from the specification of visual properties. The technique uses a novel interval-based algorithm and performs on average 20-40% to 40 better in time than current state-of-the-art algorithms while being more precise. We now illustrate our viewpoint manipulation tool that is derived from the toric space representation. This is our second contribution. The first manipulator we provide enables the direct control of target positions on the screen by recomputing the optimal camera location in real time. When moving one target, the other is maintained in position. The optimization searches on the toric surface for the camera location that maintains the up vector vertical. The second manipulator provides a direct control on the projected size of the characters. The interface maintains the on-screen positions of the characters during the manipulation. The third manipulator we propose enables the control of the vantage angle of each actor. By selecting a character and moving horizontally or vertically, we search for the angle that satisfies the user inputs in the toric space. This interaction corresponds to the famous vertigo effect of Hitchcock that maintains the on-screen locations of the target while zooming in or out. With our toric space representation, the computation is straightforward. To evaluate the relevance of our technique, we ask users to compare Motion Builder's camera manipulators with our camera manipulators. We designed a task in which the user had to place the camera so as to reproduce a number of existing shots with Motion Builder and with our tool. Here the video demonstrates the variation of the camera parameters as the user is manipulating the camera. At the bottom, the quality of the solution is displayed. It is expressed as a distance between the current camera location and the target camera location. In this example, the manipulations performed with Motion Builder tools shows a slower convergence to the reference camera location, while our tool shows a faster convergence, together with simultaneous manipulation of camera parameters. Finally, we propose a novel and efficient technique to perform interpolations between viewpoints that ensures the transition of visual properties along the generated path in contrast with state-of-the-art techniques. As a result, the creation of complex and compelling long takes can be performed without any tedious manipulations. This is our third contribution. Now that's a good idea! In this video, we compare the camera path generated with straightforward linear interpolation technique with the camera path generated by our system. Both paths have exactly the same inputs for character locations and duration of viewpoints. The inputs were actually modeled from the real sequence in the movie, so as to construct a long take for what was initially edited as a sequence of shots. As we can see in the output of the naive approach, characters drift in and out of the frame as the camera attempts to transition between keyframes.
For the same transition, frame compositions can be preserved using our toric space representation. In this example, we show the result of an interpolation between 15 user-defined keyframes. The keyframes were crafted with our on-screen manipulation tools. In addition to specifying the keyframes, the user can select the time spent in a keyframe and control how the camera should transition from one keyframe to the next one. The camera path was computed in less than 160 milliseconds on a standard desktop machine. What? In this view, we display the different torque representations from which the paths are generated. What push you around like that for? Well, they're bigger than me. Stand tall, boy. Have some respect for yourself. Don't you know if you let people walk over you now, they'll be walking over you for the rest of your life. Look at me. You think I'm going to spend the rest of my life in this slop house? Watch it, Goldie. No, sir. I'm going to make something of myself. I'm going to night school. And one day, I'm going to be somebody. That's right. He's going to be mayor. Yeah, I'm going to... Mayor. Now, that's a good idea. I could run for mayor. A colored mayor. That'll be the day. You wait and see, Mr. Carruthers. I will be mayor. I'll be the most powerful man in Hill Valley. And I'm going to clean up this town. Good. You can start by sweeping the floor. Man, Goldie Wilson, like the sound of that. Hey, Dad! George! Hey, you in the fight! To conclude, the Toric space offers a really novel approach that addresses a number of complex challenges in virtual camera control. Look at that.